Welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Boobiddle. Is that him on top of that tower up there? That is a bird. That is not Boobiddle. You're stuck with me, Ben Barber, and we are down here at Direct Autos of Tennessee in the Clarksville area. That is them up over there. Their info is on the bottom of the screen. So be sure to holler at them they've got a bunch of cool rides on the website they've had a slew of cars that they've kind of been building to uh do some private auctions on a bring a trailer or cars and biz but they also now have put a slew of cars onto the website as well again it's on the bottom of the screen please hit them up check it out see what they got going it's always changing up in there cool porsches there's a C8 in there, a 2LT C8. There's a 2021 GT500 in there. It's just so packed that I couldn't even try to consider bringing either of those cars out because it would have been, you know, moving 10 cars to get one to one car. But today we've got this amazing 2014 S550 Mercedes-Benz. And now this car is huge. I'll just be honest, it's a very long car you can see. Uh, all the way down the side it is the big if you're wondering the s-class is the mercedes big sedan and uh this one's nice man it's got nice color interior to match or to contrast against this white uh it's got the nice factory tinted windows as well it's a really nice car let's start where we normally start which is with the key and or in the trunk so there we go press and hold and she pops wide open there's the NCC bag for scale. And as y'all can see, I do not need to do the little zoom out thing because you can tell there's a hilarious amount of room inside of this trunk all the way in, folks. So yes, they do offer a large trunk. Uh, I do like that it's got this little kick plate or whatever so you can throw stuff in there and not worry about scratching that up too much. Uh, just a quick reminder there was a bunch of uh was that do this morning uh so this car kind of has that i'm not so perfectly clean look uh when you're up close to it but from here you can see it looks pretty shiny and new uh, but it's definitely a little bit dirty because of that morning dew that's a hilariously sized <laughs> gas tank you can see my hand covers about half of it uh, very interesting. Uh, one of the things I like about this vehicle, other than the uh, the bee that just landed on it, uh, I, I kind of like the chrome that breaks up the white. Uh, and you can see it's got the glass dark roof. So it's like dark, chrome white, dark, whatever. I kind of like it. Not always the biggest fan of chrome. Uh, now, as far as these S-Classes go, this back seat tends to have the majority of the room. Uh, it can also control both sides windows so you can roll that other window down it can also uh controls the uh some of the little visor or the little shade or whatever it's called that comes up here uh the, i believe the vehicle has to be on but let's get to the door card really nicely stitched got that contrasting you can kind of see it's kind of coppery almost brown or i guess it's brown but this kind of looks copper that's clearly brown burmeister stereo which is always good uh cup holder and or this is like a built-in ashtray holder, which I'm just gonna put my gum right there. Look how perfect that looks. Uh, and then you got this armrest, really, really soft. Now make our way in, I'm gonna zoom out just to give you all the full look. There's your armrest. It does have storage in the middle. If I can figure out how to open it. Oh, maybe it's because the key's in the way. It does have nice little storage inside there. And then the cup holders swing out from right there as well. Uh, this leather feels really nice. And again, it's got that nice, was that kind of chocolatey kind of chocolatey look i'm gonna jump in this rear seat here to show y'all how much room is in here i mean the seat is not all the way up that was my driving position so you can see a hilarious amount of room uh this vehicle not only has the air conditioning to be controlled here uh and power jacks here and i guess a little storm place to put your phone but it's also got i like these vents they're really unique to me i like them uh, the ones in the front as well we'll get up there here in a second um, here's the close this door here's one of the cool aspects of some of the higher end vehicles now having this extra vent of air uh, you can see it's got the dual sunroof setup so there's one there 
and then there's another one there uh this is really way more fancier than it should be but i do like it it's pretty cool uh, now this does have kind of the beginnings of their dual screen setup you can see there is some buttons there in the middle we'll get up there here in a second um but wow i mean this from back here folks pretty plush pretty comfy i like all the looks the feels i mean yeah yeah this s550 i think i want one now <laughs> especially because this thing's uh seven years old so it's no longer it's no longer at the peak of its value anymore. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the price is. We don't always throw prices around, folks. We're just we're just here to check these cars out, share them with you if you have interest in them. Again, the uh, Direct Autos of Tennessee is where we are. Their info was on the screen. It'll be on the screen a little bit later. But let's get to our door cards. Uh, huge storage shelf down inside here. You can see plenty of room for your sodas and your whatnots. Um, if you're not familiar, the majority of the um, seat functions are here uh, for for all Mercedes they put them on the door now one of the things I just noticed in some of the other Mercs is this like nice little shelf I'm not sure what you would hide there pretty cool though pretty cool little storage extra storage area get this door closed and I'll tell you when you're inside here it's pretty amazing how quickly the exterior is removed away from your audio you don't i mean it's when you close that door you can really tell a difference um, all right so it does have the dual screens it's the older setup than as compared to the newer setup um, this one does have a couple my bobbers in here what that's doing can y'all see that was the shade in the back pretty cool and then again these does have the each door has its own shade uh, so once you're in here what's really cool you can kind of see the blue underglow it does go all the way around let me drop this key it does go all the way around this little section there is it's in the rear as well on the door really kind of cool uh, we'll check our little storage area plenty of room to store things that's actually surprisingly deep it does go pretty far down in um, and a nice little spot i guess a little coin thing or i don't know plenty of power jacks down here all the good stuff uh, cup holders are here and then the wireless charging pad is kind of sitting above here and then you got if you're interested it does have a dvd player um or sorry that's not a wireless charging pad it's just like a little cover but cup holders highly functional and then this folks is how you kind of control the majority of the vehicle you got your sport and your comfort settings over here um you know the, you can lower the vehicle for to put stuff in the back massaging seats is here as well as available through this uh, system here uh, let's go ahead and throw it in reverse so our camera will uh, come up there we go I like that it keeps your nav on you can definitely remove that if you want um, but it's got pretty decent functionality these are all like they're not touch these are all just sensors I guess and the uh, as you can see as I move the steering wheel she does actually moving here the tires grunting a little bit under uh, those and then it's nice to be able to control the lighting a couple other functionality it's nice that they still have it in there uh, get ourselves back out of reverse um, again with the you've got kind of redundancy this this right here oh, that's really nice it feels good it's definitely aluminum um, this kind of is like a yoke in a sense it moves all the different ways and turns uh, and again, it's controlling what's on your screen up here as well. Um, this is not a touch screen, I don't believe. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's not a touch screen. Let's see. Hit media. Oh, oh collect Bluetooth. All right. So, yeah, not a touch screen. Uh, I do like this little mobobber here. It drops the... Uh, they're already down but it drops the headrest down and out of the way you can kind of hear it there um, nice dash really nice leather all the way across and again this stuff and the clock and everything about this clearly super high-end Merc uh, it's what they do the two spoke steering wheel very interesting look I know they went away from it and got back to the three spoke I like the little cursive Mercedes Benz they kind of threw in here 
it's really kind of nice. And the S550, this is the twin turbo V8. It's got a hilarious amount of power. Um, and, and it's seemingly all the fun, all the cool stuff. I love that the seat controls are here so you can see the heated and cooled seat, which is pretty nice. Uh, and you can turn on the rear seats have heaters as well uh, with some of this. You know, clearly you can press the buttons up here uh, to do it. Um, man, all the way around, I'm gonna turn this car, turn this girl off. Uh, the, I love how, I know this has been happening for years, but when the steering wheel goes up and away from you, the moment after you uh, kind of exit the vehicle, kind of, uh, or you try to exit the vehicle, it's nice. Mercedes has a lot of these nice little touches too. I like the look of that. Um, uh, just the lock and all the, all the little things you end up touching a lot feel good. And this is the 4Matic, so it is all wheel drive. And that's it. That's the big old girl. I would show you the motor, but you already know it's all covered up with a bunch of plastic. Um, so I love this thing. It's got the power, it's got the comfort. I wouldn't say it's more, it's a, a handling prowess kind of vehicle. Uh, it is definitely more of a cruiser, but you know, if you're looking to do those 80 to 120 blasts on the interstate, there's really not another vehicle uh, that you would feel comfortable doing it. And big old girl like this uh i love the look of the front end too it's kind of i would say that over the years they've continued this look uh continued the more aggressive look i guess you can see just how these how this front lip kind of comes out it's very very aggressive love it uh the lexuses are kind of the same way they have that super aggressive look now so well folks Again, we're up here at Direct Autos of Tennessee. Their info is on the bottom of the screen. For my man, Bo Biddle, which, you have this pole? He's not. I am Ben Barber. We'll see you guys in the next video.